Hello everyone, I'm Alex Amoruso, a MATLAB Student Ambassador at Politecnico di Torino and today I will show you how to create and develop your Arduino application with MATLAB. Uh, this is the first video of a little playlist where we uh, present you some tutorial and project using uh, Arduino and MATLAB. So, um, I'm pretty sure that you know the Arduino IDE, uh, the development environment that Arduino provides, uh, it works very well uh, with the small application, but when you, your needs grow, um, for instance, you need to plot a certain signal uh, from a sensor processing or filtering it, uh, well, uh, again, this simple uh, um, IDE is not sufficient and your best choice is MATLAB. Uh, indeed, MATLAB provides uh, uh, you the Arduino hardware uh, the support package for Arduino hardware. Uh, in fact, uh, with that you can use MATLAB to uh, interactive uh, um, communicate with uh, an Arduino board and uh, uh, it enables you to perform tasks such as acquire analog and digital signal, um, control uh, other devices uh, such as uh, servo motors, stepper motors, uh, drive DC, and of course, the support package includes a library uh, of simulink blocks. So you can uh, also um, control and communicate with your Arduino board using uh, simulink. So uh, as um, uh, as other uh, add-ons, the Arduino the support package for Arduino uh, hardware um, can be installed using the add-on button on the top menu. Uh, the installation is very straightforward, um, and so uh, after click uh, after clicking uh, on this button, um, you can install the add-on uh, searching for the uh, Arduino hardware uh, support package. So after that, you're ready to develop your Arduino um, uh, project using directly uh, MATLAB. Uh, so in this video, I will present you a little example, um, an easy one, uh, where uh, we start to use Arduino um, and its sensor uh, with, and MATLAB. The goal of this project is to familiarize with the Arduino board and uh, I will use just one sensor, a temperature sensor TMP36 that, me that measure um, ex the external uh, temperature. Uh, then uh, these values uh, are passed to MATLAB when, where we will process and plot it and eventually if a certain uh, threshold uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, reached, uh, a LED uh, will, be to, uh, will be turned on. Um, okay, let's go to view the, um, the code. Uh, here we have uh, the, uh, the, the code that is composed by three parts. Uh, the first one where we uh, declare our Arduino object in, we, using the Arduino uh, function, uh, it is not uh, it is sufficient um, uh, the empty parentheses if you uh, uh, have connected only one board or, to your PC. Then we declare the two pins that we will use. The LED pin, of course, is a digital. Uh, 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 we needs a digital one. Uh, instead, the temperature needs a, an analog one. Uh, then uh, we um, we uh, do the, the first uh, me measurements uh, using. Uh, we will uh, measure two hundred times the, the the temperature to give the um, the average the average temperature that will be used to uh, create our threshold here. Uh, a particular point is how. We uh, convert the voltage read read we by the read voltage function, um, where we uh, need to pass the Arduino object and the pin uh, where the sensor is connected, and uh, with this operation we convert the voltage to the temperature. All this information uh, uh, can be found on the um, sensor uh, manual. Then we, I create a, ga a graphic user interface uh, with uh, a figure end, a soft button, and uh, a label that, uh, um, that uh, views the, uh, the temperature. And then we measure uh, the actual temperature uh, in real time. Uh, 
the the for, I the the cycle is very uh, simple. Uh, I uh, I uh, measure instead of measure the real time temperature. I uh, will prefer to uh, read five times and then uh, um, and then uh, compute the uh, RMS value. This um, is to uh, obtain a, a more sm a smoother um, signal uh, without with so without some uh, um, too high value and too low values. Uh, and then, uh, if the threshold is uh, um, is reached, uh, I uh, write to digital pin or uh, to uh, turn on or turn off the LED. Okay, let's run the program. This is my temperature sensor and this is my LED. And now, um, okay, the figure is appeared and this is the label that we put. This is the button and this is the uh, signal. As, as you see, as you see, is uh, very uh, uh, it's it, it not present some uh, stranger va strange values due to measurement error, and this is uh, because we put the RMS uh, um, function. So I uh, put my uh, fingers on the uh, temperature sensor. Of course, the temperature will grow, and the threshold is reached and the LED will turn on. Again. OK. OK, that's all for this video. Uh, I invite you to uh, follow us on our, on our Facebook and Instagram uh, pages. Uh, and as I said, uh, you will soon find in the channel uh, the next videos on uh, Arduino programming with MATLAB. Don't miss them and bye bye.